GIW didn't originate by making slurry pumps. They made a lot of different products over the years. Uh, so it really wasn't until about 1914 when they started producing slurry parts uh, for the phosphate industry down in Florida. And um, that's where they cut their teeth. Um, but through that process all the way up to the day, there's been so many contributions that, if, uh, that GIW has made to advance the market, improve products, etc., cetera, uh, which is GIW's mantra today, continual improvement and listening to our customers. Over the years, GIW has seen an increased demand for bigger and bigger products, and our existing processes were a little bit limited to the size and volume that we could make. So we saw a great need and a great opportunity to invest in a much bigger factory to accommodate those bigger pumps. We have a new shot blast system, which is a significant improvement in throughput and reduces our setup time. You can actually blast both sides of the part at the same time. So we're looking at a 50% improvement in throughput on uh, just shot blast alone. Uh, we've got two new heat treat ovens that you see behind us. Uh, those are 25 foot by 25 foot. They accommodate a 100,000 pound part. So our biggest pumps, our biggest shells can now be made uh, and heat treated much faster than previously. We've got three new Petro Carnaghi Italian CNC machines. Uh, the largest machine, our AC62 machine, can actually machine the flange and the bore of the pump uh, shell at the same time. So it's a, a huge setup reduction for us. GIW, as part of the global KSB mining network, has a local presence here in the U.S. to better support the customers that we have in the U.S. Some of our largest customers are here in North America, and by being here, we are better able to support their needs. We're able to be more responsive. We're able to get them what they want quicker. And by having it here and not have to be shipped and sourced from all over the world, it costs us less overall, and therefore we could transfer that lower cost to our customers. GIW doesn't just send our products out into the world and hope for the best. We work with our customers in order to continually improve those products and also to improve the operation of their systems. I can tell you from experience, anyone can put a slurry into a pipeline and pump it around and maybe collect some data. But to be able to do that in a way that maintains the integrity of the slurry, collects some useful data along the way and then knowing what to do with it afterwards. That is really a combination of skill that can be either done very well or very poorly and in the GIW Hydraulic Lab it's done very well. When Ramsel was developed back in 2017 it was a major technological innovation for GIW slurry pumps. It allowed for a critical nose gap maintenance procedure to be performed digitally through a control box rather than manually through hand tools. Ramsel is really only the tip of the iceberg in terms of the digital revolution of GIW slurry pump products. The development work is never ending and products like SliceSight, for example, are being developed to give real-time information to maintenance operators which can help them extend the life of their pump, predict maintenance outages, and plan the maintenance activities that are required to keep their pumps running. It's a real challenge to bring clean gland water to a mine site. And when the location is very remote, like an oil sands tailings pond, it's even more difficult. The TDW is a tailor-made solution 
for tailings management and tailings dewatering, hence the name. The key feature of the TDW is the expeller seal. And the expeller seal doesn't require gland water in operation. With the expeller, it's proven, it's reliable, and it's environmentally sustainable. The customer decided that they will change their hydro transport system from their two mines to their two existing process plants. And, and during the early stage of the engineering phase, they realized that there is no pumps existing on that size and pressure rating. We at uh, KSB Mining, we had done similar or even larger pumps for dredging applications. So at uh, KSB Mining, we know we can design a pump of that size. From the first day on, uh, the pumps did deliver all the promises that the KSB mining team had given to this uh, GIW slurry pump. It really has uh, made uh, the customer extremely happy and pleased for the slurry pumps, the biggest slurry pumps in the oil sands that they bought from GIW. The DWD, that stands for double wall dredge, means that the outer casing of the pump, the construction of the pump, um, means that the liquid that is normally very abrasive does not come into contact with that outer casing because it has a shell or an inner liner that sits inside the outer casings that takes the wear. We've produced three DWD 99s that are fitted on the most powerful cutter suction dredge in the world, the Spartigas. Well, MDX is a great product because it's the ultimate pump that we have in the market. MDX meets all the last technology that we can use in a pump. This customer from Panama came to us looking for some solution. We were really open to listen to them. We listened to them really carefully and uh, then we proposed to them some solution. So right now they are saving time on maintenance and also they have a more real life. So in other words, happy, I mean, customer is happy, but it's happy because, you know, in mining time is gold. Literally, it's gold. And this case is copper. We offer a variety of different services, including basic repairs, uh, we get into things such as remanufacturing and we have basic agreements with customers that allow us to actually consume and use some of their used products. We take that back in and we reintroduce it into what would be considered a very like new uh, unit uh, that provides great flexibility for the customer because downtime is virtually eliminated when we do that, whereas we always have something ready to give the customer as they give us something back for us to start the remanufacturing process all over again. When you think about social responsibility, we also then take what's not usable and dispose of it safely. So we're really taking this from the beginning to the end of the product when it's manufactured all the way through its total life cycle and we keep that operation going. We know that mines are in remote places. The logistics to these mines are very unpredictable. The demands from mines are also unpredictable. In order to mitigate these demands, what the KSP Mining Group as well as GRW have done, we have a central warehouse right here in Grovetown, Georgia, where we hold millions of dollars worth of pumps and parts in stock. In addition to this, we have developed a satellite network of service centers and warehouses closer to customer clusters. This allows us to supply them in a very reliable fashion. We also have licensees in KSP Brazil and KSP South Africa, which allows us to cater to those customers on those continents in a reliable manner.